Question 12 involves modelling with quadratics. So first of all, let's have a look at the quadratic that we're given. In question 12, we are told that we've got h in terms of t equals 1.7 plus 10t minus 5t squared. And we're told that time is always going to be positive or at least zero. We're not going to have any negative time. Now we're given quite a bit of text to read. It says an athlete launches a shot put from shoulder height. The height of the shot put in meters above the ground can be modeled with this function here. T is time, this is the height. In part A, we are asked, give the physical meaning of the constant term 1.7 in the context of the model. The constant term 1.7 in the context of what we've heard. Well, let's have a think about this. At time equals 0, 0 times 10, that's nothing. 0 squared times 5, that's nothing. At time equals 0, the height is 1.7. So just before he launches the shot put, the shot put is at 1.7. Let's refer to the question. An athlete launches a shot put from shoulder height. This is the shoulder height, the starting point where he launches it from. The athlete's shoulder height is 1.7 metres. That answers part A. There's not really a lot of maths to that, so much as thinking about the context of the question. I suppose we have to understand about the constant being the value when t equals zero, and apply that to the situation. In part B, we are asked, use the model to calculate how many seconds after launch the shot put hits the ground. Let's try and turn that into mathematical terms. When it hits the ground, its height would be zero. So if the height is zero, all of this would equal zero. If we solve this, we will find the time at which the height is zero. In other words, the time before it hits the ground. So let's have a look at how we'd solve this. The order this is written in is perhaps somewhat backwards from what you'd expect. Let's write it in the style people might be more familiar with. With the quadratic first, the linear term second, and the constant last. Now looking at this, factorising it is not likely to be something we can do without the quadratic formula. At this point, I would take an educated guess and go with the quadratic formula. a equals minus 5, b equals 10, and c equals 1.7. The quadratic formula, normally given in terms of x, but in this case we're finding t, would be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. And all of that's divided by 2 times a. Now I've used brackets for my substitution to avoid any sign errors. Let's just check my substitution b is 10 and 10, a is minus 5 and c is 
and a is minus 5. I'm now going to use this in the calculator. Entering this into the calculator can be done exactly as it appears there. Minus 10 plus, in this case I'll start with a plus, I can change it to a minus later, the square root of, although to be honest, if it's a positive I don't really need the brackets, 10 squared minus 4 minus 5s and then 1.7. On the bottom, 2 and minus 5, and we have our answer. This is given as a third, and changing it up, I've got a negative value. Remember, time is only going to be positive. So actually, I'm not even going to write that value down. I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to change my equation, and put the negative sign in, because it's plus or minus. Another third, changing it up, and I get a value of 2.15758, etc. seconds. That seems reasonable in this context. If you throw a shot put, it'll probably only be in the air for a few seconds before it hits the ground. Let's have a look at the question. Does it specify a degree of accuracy? Use the model to calculate how many seconds after launch the shot put hits the ground. No degree of accuracy specified. I'm going to go with three significant figures. Two point one six seconds to three significant figures. Part B done. In part C, it says rearrange the function h of t into the form a minus b brackets t minus c squared. Let's have a look how that looks. We're told to take the formula, sorry, the function h of t, which is 1.7 plus 10t minus 5t squared, and rearrange it into the form a minus b t minus c squared. And we need to give the values of the constants a, b and c. So, although this is slightly different to what you might be used to seeing, what we have here is a version of the completed square. So we're going to take this and rearrange it into this form. Completing the square on this is slightly more complicated, and previously we spoke about when you've just got a single x squared or t squared, but here we've got minus 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through completing the square on this more complicated function. Again, putting it into the order people might be more comfortable with. The issue that I've currently got is that I've got this coefficient of t squared. I'm going to extract minus 5 from these front two terms. If I take 10 and divide by minus 5, I get minus 2t. If I expanded this, I would get back to those terms. This one I've just brought down by itself. Now inside the square brackets, I'm going to complete the square. There was no constant inside the brackets, so I've only got the correction of this squared being subtracted. Now I'm going to expand out these brackets. This would give me 1 
minus 1 times minus 5 is plus 5. And the 1.7 is there on the end. They wanted a constant first, and my constant would be 6.7. Then, minus 5t minus 1 squared. This is in the form that they wanted. a is equal to 6.7 minus b minus 5, b must be equal to 5, minus c minus 1, c equals 1. In part c, we were asked to find the constants a, b and c in that form there. And we had to calculate the values which we've done. And now it's time to move on to part D. Part D says using your answer to part C or otherwise, find the maximum height of the shot put and the time at which this maximum height is reached. Here's our height. The completed square form is useful for finding the coordinates of maximum and minimum points. In this case, because this is a negative quadratic, we'll have a maximum. It would look like this, and we're trying to find the high point. Along the way, that coordinate would tell us the time, and this would tell us the height. So, how can we get this from the equation that we found? This part of the equation here is in terms of t. So this bit will vary. Whatever happens to it will be squaring it and then taking away five lots. If we're subtracting this term here, this term here can only ever be positive because we're squaring it. If we're subtracting a positive number, that will make our total lower. The way to maximize our height, and remember this is the height, is to subtract as little as possible from it. So I want to make this part equal zero. If t equals one, one minus one is zero, zero squared is zero, five times zero is zero. If t equals one, I will be subtracting the least, giving me this part, the leftover, having nothing subtracted from it, giving me a height of 6.7 metres. At a time of one second.